You know, ever since the middle and high school, I've always been reluctant to try new things. A reason to be in is because throughout those years, there was always this one path that I took to navigate around my school to get from the entrance of the school to the cafeteria for breakfast and then in my home room. But wait, why would I be doing that? Well, that's because the schools that I went to were notorious for the amount of no life thugs that existed in the school only to make people feel terrible. Through almost every hallway, there are these things that I like to call bully zones. Bullies everywhere, You're just loitering in a spot, waiting for people to pass them, like like Pokemon trainers or some shit, right? Some of them, they weren't stationary either, you know? They could also slide and scamper through the halls like the fucking snakes and rats that they were. They, they were near the lockers, near the stairs, and, and you, you wanna pee? You wanna use the restroom at school? No, 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 no. You wake up before school, you gotta pee? Pee at home. The bully battle royale. The, the damn headquarters for Bully Central were the restrooms. They, they guarded the restrooms like they like, like they were secret service, you know? And anytime you wanna use the bathroom, you had to pay them a fee. And it wasn't money, right? They didn't want money from you. The only thing that these rats wanted was to make someone feel like absolute shit. They ain't touch you, they ain't steal your money. They just wanted to rob any self-worth you still had about yourself and then drive it into the ground. But wait, what does this have to do with trying new things? Okay, so back to the path I was talking about. So the path was pretty much go through the front of the school, take the stairs in the middle of the hallway to get to the second floor, and then take another right to get to the side stairs that takes you to the first floor. Now through there, were another set of stairs that you had to take uh, to get to the cafeteria and then you could enjoy your breakfast peacefully. Then after breakfast, you know, you do it in reverse until you get to the floor that your home room is on. N now the path, it wasn't perfect, you know, you still had to go through like one or two bully zones and it was much longer than just going uh, straight through the third floor to the main set of stairs to the cafeteria, but it was the most effective in keeping your self esteem up so, so you didn't end up on uh, what the Channel 5 news segment of gone too soon or something now, now the reason why this whole situation made me less willing to try new things is because every now and then throughout the years of avoiding the the major bully zones i would think to myself hey why don't i try to just go through the main path this side path is pretty tiring and maybe there aren't as many no life punk punks as there used to be so let's try something new so i took a deep breath and started walking down a hall of level three Almost instantly. Damn, nigga! Them George talking, boy! Hey, where, where you buy them shoes, huh? Homelessniggas.com? This nigga is ugly as shit. Oh my god! How can one man be so ugly? I'm not even trying to bully him anymore. I'm actually concerned. Now, I don't know why, but I think this kind of messed with me psychologically and made me try less and less new things. And, and, and it kind of reaffirmed me to just stick to what I do, you know? Stick to what I know best. Take the Underground Railroad and avoid as many of these rats as possible. But ever since graduating from school, I've been slowly rehabilitating my mental state, you know? I've been, I've been slowly cracking out of the shell that I got jammed into. And as I look around, the world seems to give me more reasons to try new things than to not. And what's even funnier is that almost all the people th th that hung out in those bully zones are all in jail now.